Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaika from Encouragement from the Word of God. Happy Friday. Aren't you all glad it's Friday for us? Um, this week was so hard because my kids were online school and I'm looking forward for the weekend. Um, I just want to encourage you today that I want to tell you that God sees your potential. And um, in today, the reading is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 17. And you know uh, who the character is in 1 Samuel that we are going to talk about. That is David. He is a common character that we all know about. But do you know that he was uh, in the dirt? First, he was a diamond that was hidden in the dirt. Uh, you and I, uh, we can learn many things from David's character. He was a shepherd boy. He was from a, a family uh, of Israel and um, his father regarded his brothers more valuable and sent them for to, to assist the king in battle. But David, um, um, David's father kept him uh, with um, uh, in looking after the for the sheep. Uh, David's father Jesse kept um, David to look after for the sheep. So he was given a minimal job to do and uh, David was hidden in the dirt. Just like that, you and I, you and I, we might not feel our potential. People around us might not recognize our potential, uh, even in our workplaces, even in at home, even in our family, even in, uh, in the community. You are a hidden gem and you are hidden in that dirt and uh, you might not see the potential. But I want to encourage you and tell you that God sees your potential. God sees your potential. God sees who you are and he knows how valuable you are. So today we're going to just uh, realize about diamonds and how diamonds are formed. So really, a diamond is formed through an intense pressure and high temperature hidden in the depths of the earth. So really, um, diamonds are hidden in the depths of the earth. It's not in the surface. It's not uh, outside. It's not on top of the grass where you can dig it and take it out. It's really hidden deep, deep, deep inside the earth. And it is a uh, rise to the surface comes through deep volcanic eruptions. So when volcanic eruct eruptions come, it will rise on top. The diamond is one of the hardest known natural materials on scale of mineral hardness, where hardness is defined as resistance to scratching. The more flawless and pure the diamond, the harder it is defined on the scale and it cannot be scratched by any other material. Truly, what happens is a diamond is really hard and hard and strong and, and nothing can scratch it. So that is why diamonds are so expensive. I want to encourage you, you and I, we are like diamonds hidden in the earth, hidden deep in earth. And because of volcanic eruption, diamonds will come up to the surface. It would not come up, rise up to up to the to or top, but it will be visible a little because of the volcanic eruptions. So just like that, you and I, we go through struggles. We go through difficult storms. We go through trials. What happens is these trials, these storms that you think that we don't want in our life, that you you and I think that why? What's the use of go, uh, me going through another struggle again? But truly, what happens is when we are going, we are tested through fire, we are going through struggles, what happens is we are raised up by God. God sees our potential and he doesn't want us to be hidden in the dirt anymore. He doesn't want us to be hidden in the earth anymore. He raises us up and that our hardness, the, the diamond is so hard that nothing can damage it. Just like that, God is making us hard and uh, strong and be able to, so that we can overcome whatever that can scratch us or make us, um, painful. So I want to encourage you. God is just like God chose David. He was a hidden gem. God chose him and God did amazing things through him. We can see that God used David to save the people of Israel from Goliath, the giant. God used him to be the king to save the people of Israel. And God used him to have the generation of the genealogy of Jesus Christ through David. So even though David was hidden in the dirt as a shepherd boy who was not regarded even to send out to war, but God chose David. 
Just like that, you and I have great potential. Even though the world cannot see, even though people around cannot see, God sees your potential and He will take that diamond that is you out from the dirt, from deep, deep in the earth. And even though you go through trials and struggles and storms, those will make you stronger and make you unbreakable. So I want to encourage you, do not give up what you're going through. When you're going through struggle, when you're going through storm, even though you don't want to think of it, remember that you are going through this storm to make you strong so that you will have a testimony. Without a test, there is no testimony. So even though you are going through this test, even though you are going through this storm, even though you're going through this trial, God is with you. And he will make you shine bright as a diamond. And he will bring you up. Even like the uh, volcanic eruptions make the diamond come up to the surface. God will bring you up. And he will lift you up. And he would get all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. I hope this encourages you as much as it encourages me. Let's pray together. Father, we come to you in our busy days. Lord, we thank you that you have chosen us and you see our potential. We are hidden inside the earth, deep in the earth, but you have raised us up, Lord. Even through our trials and storms and difficulties, you are purifying us, you are refining us, you are getting us ready to have the testimony. Even though we are going through this test, Lord, we know that you are with us, and that we would have a testimony at the end. For your glory, for your honor, not for our goodness, not for our glory, but for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you as much as it is blessed me. I just want to sing one worship song called, I Know Who I Am. Do you know that you have a potential? You have great potential to be used by God and you are a diamond hidden in the dirt. We are a chosen generation. Call for to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? We are a chosen generation. Call for to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at, I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at, I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. You and I, we are chosen generation. And remember, you are a hidden, hidden gem to God and he sees the potential in you. So as he says in the word, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, but you are a chosen race. You and I, we have been chosen by God, handpicked by God, a royal priesthood. We are, we are holy because of Jesus, his blood, his righteousness. And we are a holy nation, a people of his own possession. We belong to no other person but to God himself. That you may proclaim, that we may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who picked us from the mighty clay and put us feet on the rock of Jesus. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. You and I, we are God's people. Now once you not have received mercy but now you have received mercy you and i have been received mercy and grace and favor from god because god sees a great potential in you and me so do not let anyone or any voice or anything tell you that you have no potential because god sees a potential in you and he has great plans and purposes for you for his glory for his honor so that we can proclaim the excellencies of god who called us from darkness into his light. Have a wonderful day. Please share this video with everyone. Encourage one another. We need to build each other up, even in five minutes of your time to share with others. And subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed so you get a daily encouragement from the word of God. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.